today I'm going to talk to you about sea anemones, particularly colonial sea anemones. So I'll be focusing in on the dual anemones and on the zoanthids, which you can see on the right. First up, we have dual anemones, or Coronactus viridis. You can see several different colour forms of it here. So there's pink or slightly purple, orange or red, yellow and green. Um, there's a few seen enemies here as well that are not dual enemies. So you can see the white ones with the orange centre at the back and maybe some of the wrinkled ones um, that are sort of green up towards the top. So they are different species. But with dual enemies, you'll notice that they're almost divided out um, by colour and it's quite clear where um, one section starts and the next one stops. So with these, they reproduce asexually by budding or fission. So either new anemones will bud off from the parent anemone or else it will just divide into multiple new individuals. So they're more or less clones of each other, which is why you get these aggregations of one colour, because they've all come from um, multiple of the same colour type of anemone. You can see they've got these little tentacles with knobs on the end. Um, and the knobs of the tentacles can be a slightly different colour compared to the base of the anemone and it gives this almost sparkly appearance um, or a bit like kind of a jewel which is why they're called jewel anemones. You can see it a bit clearer there with the slightly pink knobs at the end of the tentacles compared to the green individual. Um, these will be found quite often on rock faces or overhangs. And then we're back to here, so that was our dual anemones, and we're moving on to the zoanthids now. So still all in anthozoa, and these are still colonial, but they're in a different group. You can see what looks like dripping there. Um, these are uh, parazoanthus species, um, but the dripping is then reproducing. So similar to the dual anemones that we just looked at, um, the dripping is then reproducing by fission. These species, um, they're, they're quite orange and they're quite distinctive, so they will cluster quite densely. And you can see the column there, which is the part that almost looks like the stem of the anemone, is quite long and thin, and then you'll get um, where all the tentacles are at the top of that, but it, it's quite distinct and they almost look a little bit heavy sometimes the way they hang down. Um, so you get lovely big clusters of these, and they can grow quite deep, so these could be found down as deep as, say, 100 metres. Um, you'll find them around the British Isles. This is a species within the same genus. They're white cluster anemones, or Parazoanthus anguicomus, um, but these are a more northerly species. They're slightly larger than the previous Parazoanthus species. Um, you'll find them at similar depths, but as I say, they are more northerly, so you wouldn't get these down as far as the Mediterranean, maybe Spain. But with the other species, you would get them well into the Mediterranean, so they're, they're slightly more southerly. So this species you would find more commonly in the north. Um, and you can see they're, they're quite pale and it actually makes them quite hard to spot sometimes. So you maybe wouldn't always pick it up um, if it was present in an area. You can see the brown crab in the, in the corner hiding there as well in this shot. Um, so you're looking at the columns or the bit that looks like the stem of an enemy to identify them. This one is quite hard to spot, so you're looking for something brown. You can see it at the top there, so sandy creeplet anemone. enemy. Um, you'll get the, the tentacles will be maybe discoloured usually, and then the base of this species could be pinky, brown, maybe an off-white. Um, they're a little bit smaller and they do blend in quite well with any kind of silt or mud. Um, and they have the little knobs at the end of their tentacles as well, which, which you can just see there. They'll be thickest at the base and then get thinner the further out you go. Thank you for listening.